The voice AI market is growing rapidly, with new players and solutions emerging every month. But with so many options, how do you choose the right one for your business? That's what we're going to explore today as we dive into the pros and cons of existing solutions. There are four popular voice AI providers, Vapi, Retail AI, and Blend AI. And uh, hopefully the fourth one will be very popular soon is Abla or Hubble.ai. Uh, it's our own solution. But first, <clears throat> who am I to talk fairly intelligently about this space? Well, I've been building a voice agents for 18 months now for clients at ASM agency. We create business solutions for small businesses in the Los Angeles area. Anyhow, spent thousands of dollars developing voice agents, made a lot of mistakes, and that's why I feel like I have proper amount of scars to provide a very honest opinion. Of course, you'll think that I might be a little bit biased, and it's okay when you spend six months creating a voice agent to outdo all three of them. But to be honest, it's fairly hard because a lot of these voice agent platforms are very, very good. I tried out various voice agents like Vapi, Retail, Blend AI, SenseFlow, and let me tell you, while they have their strengths, they also have some major drawbacks. Let's dig into it. First up, we have Vapi, a popular platform for building voice agents. Vapi offers a huge selection of models and providers, making it easy to find the right fit for your business. Plus, their detailed analytics and good customer support make it a great choice for those who want to dive deep into their data. I tried creating an assistant with Vapi. I soon realized that the flexibility of the platform was both a blessing and a curse. With so many options, it was overwhelming to figure out the best setting. And to make matters worse, the latency was significant, which ended up quickly at 11 cents per minute. For a newbie tester, UI is very user-friendly. Documentation, on the other hand, is a little bit overwhelming. It starts with a very simple example, and when you try to do any kind of additional functionality, you get a full wall of JSON and uh, yeah it's like okay I get it but how do I actually implement this the support team is not gonna hold your hand they will answer very simple questions but anything for your actual applications probably will require you to hire an experienced AI engineer this will save you lots of headache if you want to save money and you have about a month to figure things out yourself then it's definitely a good idea to try it out be careful though, during the testing we noticed a significant difference between the stated lag in the UI and the actual lag. It was 1.2 seconds for the a turnaround between the user and AI, but in reality it was about 2 seconds and sometimes would push into 3 or 4 seconds. 1.2 seconds, that's the minimum. And then it could basically exponentially grow to much higher levels. So when we were developing a solution for our client, we started like, Wow, 1.2 second turnaround, we love this, let's try it. And later we realized that maybe it's not a good application for us because it was just too slow. Next up is Retail AI. A simple and easy to use platform that's great for small businesses or those who want a hassle-free experience. Retail AI offers a clean interface, good latency. They give you a choice of advanced models. I think you could use GPT-40 and it will be a little like 20 or 20 something cents per minute, which is not bad because if you compare it to Vapi, they want to charge you 60 cents per minute if you're going to use anything that is not a Grok Mixtral or Grok Llama 370B model. When I tested Redel AI, it was impressed by its simplicity and clean interface. The latency was also much better than Vapi at just two seconds. It was like dead on two seconds. However, I was surprised by how limited the flexibility was with the fewer model options available, which is actually a good thing. Sometimes you won't have less models because maybe they chose the best ones. That's what we did in our use case. But again, by the time you figure out how to use it at 20 cents per minute, a lot of use cases that sounds like a great idea might not be that good of an idea. It's, it's a bit on the higher end. Of course, it's not like hiring somebody in the United States, but still, why pay more if you could pay less? Let's look at Blend AI. Funny story, Blend AI is the reason why we started Abla. Blend AI markets themselves as a developer-friendly platform that is great for those who want to dive deep into the code. Blend AI offers a lot of features and models. 
But models are not what you usually hear, right? Like GPT-4 or uh, like OpenAI models, Mixtral models, Llama 3 models. No, they have the proprietary model. They have the base, Enhanced and Turbo. It has a lot of promises, but when I've been testing it, there was a lot of glitches. I played with it for a good three weeks, I think. Uh, when I ran in into the API issue, working with the API, I was creating like automations, was really excited initially in January. Asked the question, put support tickets in the Discord, and uh, it's been three, four months still. I think a week later, I got a message saying like, wow, we still looking into your issue and I never really hear from them again. So maybe support is better, but even today they're adding a lot of really cool features, but it looks like a big mess. And I think the quality is deteriorating. The speed is good. What the point of a good speed if the actual voice agent is uh, lobotomized? Frustrated by the limitations and costs of other providers, we decided to create our own platform, Able or Hubble.ai. Our goal was to create a platform that was not only more affordable, but easier to use, flexible, and more performance driven. After months of development, we're finally ready to roll out our beta version. Currently, we are using it only for agency clients, but plans are to expand access to everyone. We are an agency that creates solutions for businesses. And that's why we created this platform, because we wanted to have best tool for our own needs. And that's what probably makes us different than any other voice provider. We're not selling it to you, we're selling it to ourselves. Kinda. Been using our voice agent for last month and it's been great. It's faster, it's simpler to use, and it's cheaper. As a matter of fact, DeepGram CEO himself actually helped us out a little bit. How to minimize the lag in the conversation between the user and the voice agent. Pretty impressive stuff. With Habla, you get a cost-effective, user-friendly, and very powerful voice agent platform. We're committed to your experience, and that's why we'll have a Discord where you'll be able to share with us your thoughts and suggestions. We're committed to continuous improvement, so you can trust your experience will be getting better day by day. If you're interested in trying Hubla, sign up for beta version in the description below. The rollout will be over the period of a month. You'll get between five to ten dollars. The earlier you sign up, the more money you get. We can't wait to hear your feedback and make Hubla the best it can be.